come on in today i'm gonna show you my home after renovations and talk about renovations namaste good morning good evening what's up guys this is aditya so welcome back to my channel if you haven't hit that subscribe button till now do that right now for an awesome content regarding my own journey to share my real estate investing journey and realtor journey to help you to make your life better because you know it's always good to learn from someone else's experience that's why i share my journey to inspire you so i have actually made a video a couple of months ago showing my home tour you can check that here um, when i purchased the property before renovations so in this video i'm going to show you with the updates uh, whatever i told in that video that i'm going to do i'm going to do this i'm going to do that all those things I'm, i have done that now my house is ready i'm living in it i'm living the dream so i'm going to show it to you guys to give you an idea and also i'm going to share about the numbers what kind of renovations i put in how much it cost so follow me first of all if you look at right there if you saw that video you will see there was a wall here and there was a, a big beam running through this way and the old flooring so now it's now modern and also you would have seen some old lightings so we have changed removed the wall and supported it from up because um, we are not sure if there was a load beam or not but we don't want to take a chance so we have added eight two by fours and uh, two I, I believe three or four two by fours here for extra support and we have supported from the top so from the ceiling there was a, a joist where we supported it from so uh, we are hoping it's now solid um, and the island so basically first I thought of making uh, maybe a small island but then I thought you know as a realtor and also I, I enjoy uh, having parties with friends uh, also with clients and everyone so I, I need a space for partying I thought you know what maybe let's make a big island that's why I came up with that and we matched that island with the existing countertop so it's a it's a laminate on top of it and um, actually this one it costed as a I, I believe 800 bucks and then uh, also the cabinets on top of, uh, below that from uh, Lowe's and the flooring this is a uh, three dollars per square footage I really love this because we already had in a couple of spots previously this white and I really love white and if you have noticed in the previous video you will see there was a window here so now I made a patio door and we have a beautiful patio now I really love this part of my house it's a, it's a beautiful deck I love it because it's you know uh, you, even my wife doesn't know in the morning I come there I sit on the car on that side and the Sun falls directly on my face and I just uh, you know do a meditation I really love this deck uh, it's it's nice and peace and in the evening we can have parties I haven't started the party set because we just finished renovations like two I think uh, three weeks ago so it was it was we were expected to finish in three we three months but it took so long to figure out certain things do that do this and also contractor he, um, he promised to do it in three months but he took some time so you know it took time but come on over I'll, I'll show some more so so far and also we changed the backsplashes if you notice here kind of we match the backsplashes with this color closely a little bit we tried our best uh, I didn't really like the white on the on here lot, nowadays a lot of people are using white but I don't know somehow I felt this one I like that uh, and also exhaust man I'm an Indian we cook all masalas <laughs> this is so I, I need an exhaust and there was no exhaust before I put in a exhaust fan actually it goes directly from here to backside so I have a vent it it, it uh, takes all the 
you know all the spicy smell outside so that was tough thing overall the budget uh, we were i was estimating for 22000 and um, we were under budget to 20000 with including everything uh, material labor for um, the uh, island flooring that door patio patio or deck what do you call whatever you call and and the removing the wall and electrical all this uh, lightings you see uh, and the ceiling lights drop lights whatever you call I, I um, spotlights yeah <laughs> thank you <laughs> spotlights um, and also one more thing I changed the uh, washroom come on over I'll show you I love this so before there used to be a big vanity here and, and a big uh, old style uh, mirror so now I changed everything to a IKEA stuff IKEA 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 all together I think we got the set for I believe eight hundred dollars and then plus replacing and also there was like you know the vanity was big so I have to match the tile so we had a tile white tile there and I just matched the tile there and I love that lights actually nice LED so and also one more thing I have done uh, which is plumbing that's also a major work um, if you come I'll show you there was no plumbing because you know this whole thing was a floor before so uh, I, I put in a new dishwasher so I, I need a plumbing for that and also has if you remember my previous video I told that uh, we're gonna do a, a separating the high, uh, dishwasher and the, sorry um, what you, washer and dryer so we have a washer and dryer in the basement that's why what I have done in the washroom actually we have now uh, plumbing for the washer and dryer so we can just uh, hook up a separate washer and dryers for each unit like basement and the main floor have their own separate right now so yeah this was the whole renovations um, unfortunately like I stayed on the budget but the thing is there will be always surprises because this is something really I didn't know when I purchased this house I got some surprises I got some surprises uh, that uh, you know the washroom in the basement it was actually fully finished before when I purchased um, but it was never used uh, after I purchased I rented out and right now there are tenants that's why I'm not showing you the uh, video but unfortunately I have to redo the whole washroom it costed me 4500 that's just a waste of money it was a brand new washroom but the guy who did that washroom the previous owner uh, he didn't put a like a waterproofing membrane underneath the, um, the, the where the water drains so the, that was like a because of that uh, within like I believe one month or two months uh, tenants told me that they saw mold and it was like a serious issue I cannot just uh, do the mold removing treatment on that because we don't know where was the issue so the contractor said we have to redo everything so that also cost a little bit caused a little bit of a you know extra time for renovations and also another biggest challenge was here the the AC was at this point so the AC was like running at this point so we have to change the electrical wires and put the AC here now if you see the AC went on to the side so th that was also a challenge because the the wire uh, the electrical electrician came in and he said you know it's it's a uh, almost like a thousand dollars expensive because the he has to run some specific wires I didn't understand that uh, extensiveness but I, anyways I said hey you know what I'm really new I don't know I just uh, uh, so many unexpected uh, expenses can you do anything better he, he's really sweet guy I loved him he said right off the bat he said you know what don't worry I'll do it for you for 50 percent and he did it for 500 even my contractor that that's an expensive one you got a sweet deal so yeah with that like you know um, and also we are growing right now some uh, vegetables we, we, we have some tomatoes we, we have some uh, chili and my wife came up with some uh, beautiful idea <laughs> I felt like I, I like it if you saw that mirror it was in the washroom before now she too, uh, she uh, got here <laughs> she thought it's a decorative thing I don't think so don't don't tell her don't tell her I am the one who is making 
watching this video and you are saying don't tell her yeah 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 okay come on in so regarding the numbers with the things i learned about renovations you have to be really picky with the contractors because they always wanted to hey you know what you have to change this in order to do that or you have to do this or in order to do that so they always wanted to um, you to spend money because the more time they spend on your project the more money they make but it's your decision to what to do what not to do always try to question them for everything and get the details sometimes whatever they are saying might be needed for example like if i have to put a dishwasher there i need a plumbing so that's a must but if they say you know what if you want to put an island you need a granite countertop that is not needed it's my wish i i, I can put granite or whatever the quality i want so you make that conscious decision if you don't need it if your house is not that expensive or you know you choose things you make a conscious decisions because if you're always want to do renovations on your house and if it's not an investment uh, beneficial then don't do it um, for me i had money from my bank for 20000 to improve my property and i really wanted to make it such a way that a party house that's why i spent this money and also i, I improved a uh, value a little bit but most likely it's my um my investment is on my uh, parties that's that's where because you know i has a realtor it's my secret i don't want to sell but i'll tell you guys are sweet i'll tell so you know i, I want to host, host more parties that's where more people knows me that i'm a realtor more people I, i connect with more people i can help to buy or sell so if you're looking to buy or sell in windsor let me know because i'm the best windsor realtor so reach out to me but long story short all the story is done do be conscious with your renovations and let me know how do you like this renovations in this house did i do a good job or did i overspent on it or did, what are your thoughts let me know in the comments below and looking for that hit button and subscribe button and check out my other videos if you want to if not good night for now